Is this going to be a good investment or is it too risky? That's what we're going to talk about. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And guys, this is the show where we work together mano a mano, right? If you guys want to work with us, you send us an email, give us your phone number. We call you, talk to you about your wants, your needs, your goals, what you want to do, how much money you're working with, how you're financing. If you got cash, if you need lenders, we give you lenders, things of that nature, right? And then we do a couple different things, right? We take all that information and we go find you properties we think will best fit for you. Or if you guys found properties that other people sent you, I will give you my unbiased opinion on them. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now with this property for my clients. It's a company out of New Jersey called AHS Consulting, right? These folks want to invest in the Cleveland market. They came across this property and three others, right? Four properties, all for sale by owners. Somebody uh, sent them some information. They're considering making this purchase, but they wanted my take. So I'm going to do four videos for you guys. I'm going to do them back to back to back to back, okay? This is the first one, right? Now, normal uh, longtime viewers of the show, right? There's no fancy MLS uh, printout or additional picks, right? This is a Google Earth picture, right? We're dealing with a for sale by owners. So you guys got to understand... When you're investing in real estate and you're trying to get deals, highly profitable deals, they're not always going to be wrapped in a nice bow for you, right? A nice professional presented package, right? That's part of being an investor. You got to do a lot of the legwork. AHS Consulting understands that. They're smart. They got that information. That's why they're here, right? So what we have, okay, 723 East 162nd, Cleveland, Ohio, 44110. The seller's ask price is 45000 and we have very limited information on the property. What we know is we have two units, and it's bringing in a total rent of 1200 a month, which is scheduled to be 14400 a year. I would assume that is split evenly, 600 a unit, but hey, you know, one unit could be 650 one could be 550 But we know for a fact, uh, per the owner, that uh, he's bringing in 1200 a month schedule, 14400 a year scheduled. Now... If you were to just run the numbers based upon normal metrics, right, you could even use something like the 50% rule, which is a good cocktail napkin math way to do things, right, which is essentially half of the money you bring in is going to go towards your fixed and variable expenses. You know, that's going to be like taxes, insurance, property management, maintenance, repairs, vacancy, capital expenditures, et cetera, et cetera. If you could do that, 1200 bucks a month in rent in the Cleveland market for 45000 would be a freaking smoking deal, man. That would be huge. That would be amazing. But herein lies the issue. It's the neighborhood quality. This neighborhood is one of the worst neighborhoods in Cleveland if... Well, I mean, actually, it's it's actually one of the worst neighborhoods in the United States of America. This is a, a horrible neighborhood. It's it's very rifled with uh, crime and poverty, right? Crime and poverty increases our risk, okay? Now, guys, a couple things you guys can do in the future to understand what you're working with, right? The first thing, if you go to HoltonWise.com, you click the Tools and Resources tab. I got something right here called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, right? This is a comprehensive guide that I have drawn up. I think I, I made this in like 2015, and I update it frequently, right? What I have done with this guide is I have graded every neighborhood in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale, and I even color-coded it for you. You got the east side of town. You got the west side of town, right? Well, this is the, this is the west side. This is the east side, right? So green right here. These are, these are A neighborhoods. Light green are B. Yellows are C. Reds are D and an F, right? This particular neighborhood, you are like, right here, dude, you're all up in that red, okay? And I even give you guys a little bit more information. If you scroll down, I got all the information on the neighborhoods, right? The zip code, the median household income, the property tax rate, right? So if we go all the way down to F, what you guys will see here 
is this particular neighborhood. The median income of a house is $21,000, right? So that means half, half of the households in this particular area are bringing in less than $21,000 a year. And a household, I believe, on average is like 2.3 people, something like that, right? Two kids and point third, or two adults and point third of a kid, right? The poverty rate, it's like $16,000 a year, I believe, okay? So more than half the people that live over here, two adults on average, Bringing in less than 21K, right? So that's like 10, 11,000 per person, right? Also, you got the property tax rate, just so you know, it's 2.79%. So because of this, I cannot break down your performance expectations. It's a crapshoot. I don't know. It's, it's, it's impossible to, to navigate what you're going to be dealing with because it's so inconsistent. The income is going to be so inconsistent. You could take your property taxes because, like, you know what you'd pay for it. So you could take your 45000 and multiply that by 2.79%. That'd be what you're paying in property taxes. But, like, your variable expenses are going to be so widely variable. I can't give you... Uh, a reasonable performance estimate. It, it's it's just going to be too risky, uh, j j just too, like, too unpredictable, right? Now, if you do invest in this property, I would say what you definitely need to do is go Section 8. That'll alleviate some of your risks. But we don't, uh, I don't believe we have Section 8 tenants. Uh, at least we've not confirmed. You've not confirmed with me uh, from the information you got from the owner. They're Section 8 tenants. And, like, what you get, uh, when you have properties like this, it's just, it's so blighted, it's so dangerous. I mean, if you look at this picture, right, you got like four tires right there. This door appears to be boarded up. Uh, I, like, we got like, what's going on here, right? You can't see half the house, right? It's completely overgrown, right? And if you cruise like down the neighborhood, like you'll see, like just there's going to be blight. Like right here across the street, see that? That's not just a dude who has a really big yard. There used to be a house there. They tore it down, right? So when you get into these neighborhoods in these areas you're going to see a lot of that right here's probably one two probably three houses used to be over there go down to this corner lot this is uh, actually like a new build for a while in these neighborhoods they were so distressed they were actually giving out uh tax credits like 10 15 20 years ago something like that for people to go in and build homes so you see a few random homes but it never really amounted to anything and then what i did for you is i pulled up comps for you real quick uh if you do decide to buy the property if you want to just move forward with the high risk, that's cool. I think 45 would be overpaying. I think 25 would be what I'd be comfortable paying if I were you. Uh, we got some comps here. These are quarter-mile comps within the last year. We got a total of seven of them. Two people bought them for 25. There's a few people who bought them for the 40s, and then there's some one maniac over here that bought a threeplex for 65k. So, my opinion. At 25K, it's a reasonable investment for an investor who is set up to handle it. Uh, I don't think you guys are going to be the right investor, though, because what you need to do is you need to have an ability to manage it. And the company, like most reputable companies, like Holton Wise, for instance, we wouldn't manage in a property like this. It's too dangerous uh, to send our workers there. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. I can't staff my company uh, if I'm sending guys into neighborhoods like this. You know, everyone's afraid of getting robbed or beat up. There's just so much crime. Trucks get broken into. People quit, and it costs me money to replace my employees, things of that nature. So you'll probably find a tough time getting a licensed and reputable uh, management company to manage this, which then leads you to go with like your illegal or your unlicensed property management companies or your property management companies who cannot compete and get uh, the other inventory that's out there that everyone's fighting over, uh, either because they're not experienced, they're not well-known, or their services aren't that good, right? So that leads to further... Uh, complications with coming up at some type of reasonable measure of performance here. So that's my thoughts on this particular property. I think it's a no-go. If you do want to do it, I think you should try to pick it up for like 25 k But again, I think your real nightmare is going to be how do you actually handle the management because you guys are out there in New Jersey. If you were local, it'd be a completely different conversation, but you're not. So I don't think there are good properties. I don't think there are bad properties. I think we got to fit the right property with the right investor at the right price, and I just don't see a match here, folks. Uh, so let me know your feedback. Uh, just reply to the private email, and I'm going to look into your second property right now. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.